Hello YouTube. Right, um, next project. Um, I showed you in the last video um, how to age um, metal or how I age metal for a particular look. And I said I was going to do something with the uh, items that I, I showed you, which was the uh, tin can. And basically what I'm going to be doing is a post-apocalyptic um, desk tidy. Um, just a simple project, just to, made from recycled materials, which are tin cans. So I've got some shiny tin cans. I've got quite a few. And I'm just going to make a, a little desk tidy, and this is that video. So, uh, yeah, let's get on. It's perfect to one side, don't need that. Right, <clears throat> so you've got your tin cans, just assorted. Different sizes are best, so I've got a small one. I've got a couple of medium ones and I've got four large ones, but we're only going to make a small desk tidy. I say small, but we're, I've already done these two. So these are um, steel cans that are coated in tin. Um, they're the modern equivalent. Um, but I'm going to do a post-apocalyptic. And the first thing to do is to clean out your cans. Now these ones I have cleaned out as I've save them so they're in pretty good nick. Don't need those. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you <coughs> how to age them. But first, on one of the cans, one of the big cans, I think we'll pick which one's best. That one's got a nice little dent in it. Yeah, I think we'll pick this one. Take the bottom off one of the larger cans. Simply just cut the bottom off, so you've got a tube. And what I like to do is I like to go around with a file, just on the edges in there, just to smooth them down, or a hammer. A little pin hammer will do that. So we'll just take apart our cans. This is a little condensed milk can that I've got. So there's still condensed milk in there. We'll just uh oh, we'll fill that one out. Right, where's my tool? There's my tool. Here we go. You can throw these away. <coughs> throw them away. So but as there is a little bit of a lip, there's a little bit of a lip there. As there's a little bit of lip, what I'll do is I'll uh, just hammer that down. Yeah, that's smooth enough. And I can do that with the other cans, like there's this one which has got a dent in it, but I want a dent in it. You can see you can see the dent on there. But that to me actually adds to the effect, but So then we'll age them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to age the cans, which is a fairly simple process if you can get the burner to stay on. If I do the small one, I'll 
the shelfies in there we go. This really, really good metal grey lot. Another one done. Do the rest. Right. So you've got all your cans. Basically, just give them a scrub with uh, ordinary um, dishpan scrubber, and just give them a uh, quick going over just to get the excess crap off. If you got some glass cleaner, give them a clean. Right. So, a little bit of glass cleaner after you've used the scrubber. Just give them a spray. Just get all the oil off them, basically. Or whatever else you may have picked up. Glass cleaner is the best product for this. So that's how that one's come out. It's come out really, really well. Just do the rest. <coughs> right, so you've got your cans and you want to I've picked the two biggest ones that are going to be I've got the hollow one there and I've got the biggest one there so basically I'm going to fit them like that. Um, I'm going to super glue these ones to because basically this edge is going to be pretty strong anyway even with the cans together just like they are they will actually stay pretty, pretty strong, but the glue will just add the extra. So all I'm doing is going around the edge here with the super glue. Plenty of it. There we go. And then just slot it in. There we go. Slot it in and it's in place. Let the glue grow off. And the other cans, as you can see there, are all going to go around the edges in a slot like that. That's what we're looking at. So basically, next bit is to glue them together. Now we're not going to use super glue, I've got something else for that. I have in the past used liquid metal but in this case I don't think it looks right because in the in the, uh, the other one that I made um, I made I, I used liquid metal and then it was all sprayed black and it looked it looked good but this one is not going to work that way so we're going for something else so I've got a glue gun what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of splodge on there and then a little line and then a splodge there and then just basically stick it it to stick it together. That is sticking that is sticking that hasn't stuck at the bottom. So we can take that off. Big splodge all the way down. And there. And then should just there we go. That should do it. Hold them together until it's set. And do the same for the rest of them. I think I've just run out of glue sticks, <laughs> which means I'm going to have to take a bit of time to get some more glue sticks for this. I'm going to try and glue that together. So what we're going to do? Oh, I'm watching some Polish thing about a tank 
which is rather cool. I rather like it. I'm enjoying it. So to put the two together, I'll make a little mark there, a little mark there, two little marks to mark where I want to put the glue. Now put the glue on. There's one, there's the other. Spodges at the ends. Spodges at the end, all the way down, spodges at the end. Oh. And then just marry them up until they glue. And do this for the rest of them. Right, there we have it. One post-apocalyptic desk tidy with desk. If you have a look. All the bits and pieces in there, you've got the small cans and then you got the large cans. I flung a bit of chain off the end there. But you can see the effect the metal has. I really, really like that effect. I've even got, look up here, a hook system. So just a little hook that goes on the back. I can hand things off. Yes, I've got a black rose. Can't not have one. You've got rulers and things like that. I've got joysticks there, rulers. In here I've got my multi-tool, Stanley knife, my pliers. I've got some cleaning sticks. I've got all the little bits and pieces in there. Pens in there. And I've got files and screwdrivers and scissors and a couple of brushes. But that's it. I think that looks pretty awesome. Looks really, really awesome. I might make a couple more. Anyway, goodbye YouTube. Bye. <laughs>